Welcome to Guest Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering DC Sweep. Now a sweep is essentially movement either backwards or forwards and you are stepping through different values based on whatever movement which you're trying to do. Now in our case we're just going to have a voltage source. So let's press V to have a voltage source, G for ground, then escape, then right click on your voltage source. Then we're going to set a value, any value, you can literally set any value, it doesn't really matter. Let's just set that to 1, 1 volt. Okay, then now you're going to come up here to simulate, edit simulation. So far we've been working with the transient analysis of the transient simulation, but now we're going to go to DC sweep. So this is where we are. And as you can see, it has it says first source, second source, and third source. So you can sweep three different sources, the LT spice. And what that essentially means, as I previously explained, is you are stepping through a bunch of values and these boxes here then set the type of sweep which you're going to have. It is a DC sweep, but you can still set whether it's linear, octave, decade, or a list. Now I'll just be roughly going through all of these and just to show you what I mean by that. So now let's put in the name of our source. It's currently V1. So you can change that to V1, but by default, it's just a V1. Then let's choose a linear sweep with a starting value of zero, even though the voltage source itself has a value of one. This is valid according to the DC sweep. And a stop value of, let's say, 10, 10 volts. And we can choose the increments, which is essentially the step size. So if you move from zero to two, then from two to four, then your step size or your increment is two. If you move from 0 to 1, then from 1 to 2, when you're counting up or down, then your increment is 1. So you can literally set any value which makes sense or which is less than your maximum value. So now, if I set my value to, let's say, 2, you can just place that in there, run the simulation, probe the top of our voltage source, you'd see that we have a line which is linear, right? We set a linear scale or we set a linear DC sweep. And this is essentially what we expected because we set an increment of one and at the bottom you can see it's counting in ones up to 10. So the start value was zero, the end value was 10 and it's essentially increasing its value until it reaches 10. Well, it doesn't really serve any purpose if it's by itself. So you can connect it to a circuit. So let's do that. And let's reproduce our simple circuit example. Just connect with that. So now, why is the DC sweep useful or how can we actually use it? So I'm just going to switch a few things up. So let's press F8 to drag this downwards. Then that one as well. I'm going to press F7 just so it looks a bit nice to take that out of there. Then F3 to reconnect in there. That, that's much better. Okay, now let's assign values 1k and 1k, then we're going to rerun the simulation. Okay, now that we have run our simulation, this is very useful because it shows you what the voltage will be across each of these resistors, for example, as you sweep your voltage from 0 to 10. So obviously it will be different. If your voltage is 0, you have 0 across both the resistors. If it's one, then that one will be shared across both of the resistors. If it's five, it will be shared among both of the resistors. So each value, or as the voltage value changes, the voltage across all of the other elements will change as well. Now, if you're interested in finding out what the value will be at a certain value, then you just sweep your voltage source and then find all of the values that will exist or that will be true at a certain point. So I'll demonstrate that. Once again, our source goes from zero to 10. So that's the green line. And if we probe this R1 resistor to see how the voltage across it changes as we change the voltage source, we can just drag from there to there. And you can see a similar profile. And this should make sense using Ohm's law if we think about it. So when the voltage source is at three, so the green line, so when it has a value of three, you can use our cursor because we know how to use cursors now. So when it's there, we now expect, we'll press the blue one, we now expect 
our resistor to have a value of 1.5 and that is what we have over there right and this is because this is a voltage divider whatever voltage is here will be divided equally among these two so if the voltage is 3 the green line then expect the voltage across each of the resistors to be 1.5 which is the blue line and that is exactly what is happening and we can probe a different point if we want so it can actually step up to six expect each of the resistors to have three volts and we press the blue one and see that it's around about three volts over there so this is this just shows how useful the dc sweep is so instead of changing the values each time so here you could have just used a transient analysis or a transient simulation and changed each of these values to three so the voltage value to three then after that you could have changed it to six but now we did that all in one go we just set a dc sweep from a low value to a high value and we we're able to see all of these changes so that is the dc sweep in summary and you can have multiple sources as i previously said so i hope the video was useful and if it was just give it a thumbs up i'll see you in the next video